I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I fight because I must. These are the words of Ulfric Stormcloak, the leader of the Stormcloak Rebellion that is ripping the land of Skyrim apart. Brother versus brother, father versus son, Imperial versus Stormcloak. In my first playthrough of Skyrim, as soon as I learned about the Civil War questline, I rushed to Solitude as fast as I could. When I entered the city, I saw Rogvier being executed for the whole city to see, including his own family. I heard his niece's traumatized voice, watching her own uncle dying and there was nothing she could do. This got me thinking, is the Empire really the best option for Skyrim? I forgot about it after a few quests and continued along with my playthrough. But recently I've been wondering, do the Stormcloaks really have a chance of holding their own against the massive and mighty Aldemary Dominion? I started looking into it and uncovered something that gave me another perspective on the war. Now I was positive that the Empire had to win. In this video, I will be breaking down the futile and senseless Stormcloak Rebellion that will bring nothing but death and destruction to Skyburn. Let's start with the founder and leader of the Stormcloak Rebellion. Ulfric Stormcloak. He is first introduced to the player at the start of the game, where the player along with a thief and a Stormcloak soldier, and of course Ulfric himself are being escorted to Helgen for their execution. You know the man you are sitting next to is important as soon as you lay your eyes on him. He plays a very crucial part in helping the player escape Helgen from the Imperials. He is a good man at heart, but is clouded by hatred. The horrors of the Great War are deep within his mind, fueling the dream of a united Skyrim that can never be brought to reality. Now, why should you never side with the Stormcloaks? Well, if the Stormcloaks win the Skyrim Civil War, they would leave the Empire crippled. The Empire would be weak, and the Stormcloaks could probably march right into the heart of the Empire and take the Imperial City. Well, that's only a dream. Even if the Stormcloaks win the war in Skyrim, they would be just as weak as the Empire, or maybe even weaker. They would be like a dragon with no wings. It would be a massacre. The Elves would have their work cut out for them, slaughtering every Nord and Imperial they could find. Not to mention the resistance from the Jarls that were overthrown in the taking of their cities and lands. There could be a very good chance of a second civil war breaking out between the Jarls that were overthrown trying to take back their seats of power, or the throne from Ulfric himself. All of this would give more power to the Dominion, weakening Skyrim further and making everything worse. Even after all of the reasons I have just listed, even a fully unified Skyrim would not be able to sustain itself. As the truth is, most of the land in Skyrim is not fit for farming. People would starve in constant fighting and wars with the Imperial Empire, and the Aldemary Dominion would devastate Skyrim's economy and resources. The idea of a unified Skyrim that doesn't need help from the Empire or any other province on the continent of Tamriel is nothing but a dream. The Stormcloaks are fighting for something that, in the circumstances they are in, is almost impossible to reach. Both the Empire and the Aldemary Dominion know there is going to be a second great war. Both sides are preparing, and futile rebellions only diminish men and resources. In the end, even though some wouldn't like to believe it, the Empire is the only hope that men have. Join the Empire. And thank you for watching.